Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial um, really to talk about how I use Photoshop libraries um, and how I can use Photoshop libraries to put together a, a website similar to this in around about five minutes. Now, obviously this isn't going to be too custom to a certain client that you're working on, but I'll show you how we can use Photoshop libraries to kind of really prototype something based on a whole bunch of assets that you've got in your previous library. So. One of the thing, first things I'll show you is jumping over to this PSD, you can see is a grayscale uh, kind of prototype of what we're going to put together. Now let me show you how quickly I can put something like this together using nothing but the Photoshop Libraries panel. So I'll come over to my empty panel and what I'll do is I've got some predefined assets in my library already that I've used from a previous project. Drag and drop them over. Make sure you hit Alt as you drag and drop and I can just place them on the canvas like that. Now the beautiful thing about this is all these assets I've used and can reuse on different projects so I can within a few minutes pull all these assets for this UI kit out onto my canvas quickly and easily. So to make things quicker the purpose of this video I've actually numbered each of these layouts and nearly finished so you can imagine the possibilities with what we're doing here um, you could create a bunch of grayscale prototypes based on some of your own designs um, and just create a new library like I've done you know for all my clients um, and the great thing about that is you can reuse really easily some of these assets. So a couple more and I think we'll be done. I'll just grab a footer and finish it with the footer. So look at that. In a couple of minutes we've got a basic prototype just on elements that I've already had loaded into my libraries. Now, once I've done that, let's say I want to start to kind of customize it for, for my purposes. Super simple. So what I'll do is I'll grab this image from my library and just position it nicely. And that one's done. Um, I'll throw in this image here. The beautiful thing about these libraries is I can select a color and just add it straight to my library. So now for the second button, all I gotta do is select it and change the color. So look how quick that is to have all your assets and swatches there right within Photoshop. Let's make that blue. I'll come over here and Change the color of the stroke to my blue. Throw in one of these images. So really what Photoshop Libraries is doing here is making it super simple to just drag assets. You're not having to open up new files uh, and drag them from random places throughout your, your document. So you can see how quickly I'm pushing through this prototype and just adding nice bits of color. And obviously you can you know, spend a bit more time on each on each square, but for the purpose of this five minute video um, on how to design a website in five minutes using Photoshop libraries, I need to be quick about it.
so there you have it. We've got a pretty polished design. Let's zoom in on here. Uh, it literally only took a couple of minutes. Um, starting off using my pre-designed grayscale assets, which I'm constantly developing and growing. Um, drag them over onto the canvas. Have some predefined color assets all ready to go, so you can just change colors quickly and easily and some stock images to, to throw in there. So you can really see the benefits and the speed of using something like Photoshop libraries. Thanks again.